Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss the problem C, interesting sequences from code forces around 843 dev 2. The problem states that there are two friends, let's call them A and B as of now, they have given them names Petya and Petya, Petya plus plus. So they like to solve interesting math problems or, problems or exciting math problems. So one day B came up with the number N and X and wrote down the following equality on the board. So what he or she wrote down is that N and N plus 1 and N plus 2 up to so on to M is equal to X where and is the bitwise uh, operation so you can read uh, read about it it's a pretty uh, like simple thing okay then he suggested his friend petia to come up with the minim minimum pos possible answer m right so there should be m that is greater than or equal to n for which this equality holds so they uh, like he has given him two numbers n and x and then he has to find uh, like a m a possible valid m and the answer should be the minimum Unfortunately, he couldn't solve it, so now we have to solve this disc, uh, difficult problem. Also, they have mentioned the constraint, so the number of test cases is uh, less than or equal to 2000. Also, the, uh, the de description is as follows, so they will be giving us two numbers, and both of the, the num those numbers would be less than or equal to 10 to power 8. Obviously, zero, uh, lower bound is 0. So, over here, definitely don't take an int, it's going to overflow, So, but a long long would work over here. So what could happen at the end is that we are not able to uh, find any answer or a answer doesn't exist in that case we'll simply print minus one else we'll uh, we'll print the minimum possible answer so it's not a like a really difficult question just requires some knowledge of bit set or bits in in general and yeah with that uh, you should be good to go uh, for this question so let's try to understand what they're asking so they are giving us two numbers n and x right and what they're saying is that n and n plus one up to so on till x or uh, till m is equal to x right and we have to find this m so this is unknown so what we can say is that let's talk in uh, terms of bits rather than in terms of numbers so i can uh, write any number in binary bits so i'll write this number as n naught n1 n2 n3 n4 so these are basically the bits of it and i can also write x as x naught x1 x2 x3 x4 so now what would happen is that i'll also be having a n plus 1 over here n plus 2 so this basically is n so i'll be having a n plus 2 up to so on to m right and then i'll and uh, i'll be adding the bits so let's say this had the bit uh, n10 this had n20 this has n30 this had n11 n21 n31 so what should happen is that uh, n0 and n10 and n20 and n30 so basically all these bits should technically sum up to x0 i hope that point is clear so that's the direct observation or that's just rewriting whatever was given in the question itself so with that point clear what we know is that uh, in case for any of these bits if i have a single zero right let's say every one uh, bit was one and even if there was a single zero so my final answer is going to be a zero right so with that what what we can say is that we just require one zero to, uh, to make the entire sequence as zero also this leaves us with the important tip so let's say n0 itself was zero right so n naught that is the bit or, or let's say ni was zero so let's generalize it let's not uh, like stick to a specific case so let's say ni was zero so is there any way i can add it with any amounts of numbers to make it one Definitely not, right? Because if you have a single zero, you are uh, and you are you are ending your entire sequence. It it would sum up to zero itself. It cannot be one. So with that, what we can say is that in case for any bit, so for any bit, if uh, n i is equal to one and x i is equal to uh, n i is equal to zero and x i is equal to one. In that case, what would happen is that we can simply print 0 as the answer because that's not possible to do. So we can simply print uh, not 0 but minus 1. So minus, minus 1 in the is well invalid case. So we can directly print that. Now three cases actually remain. So one case is that uh, ni is equal to 1 and xi is equal to 1, right? The other case is that ni could be 0, xi could be 1. And the, okay, so yeah, not this but yeah, this could be 1 and it could be 0. And the other cases, both of uh, them could be zero. Not uh, like I said, not zero one because zero one is already covered over here. We can directly print a minus one for that. So what should we do about these three cases? So let's ignore this, right? 
it's a uh, it's just a zero zero it won't change anything because zero and uh, like if i have a single zero and even my final answer is zero then i not uh, don't need to care, care about it right it's already getting uh, satisfied now what if my ni is equal to 1 and xi is equal to 1 so in that case what i can say is that the initial number was definitely uh, what definitely having a ni bit as 1 right but then there are a set of numbers over here these there could be like more than no, like no number or more than one numbers right in this particular sequence and my final answer should also have a xi bit as 1 so what should i do so i need to take care that i don't perform any operations so let's say let's uh, let's let's try to take an example right so let's say i was having a number 4 so 4 has 100 zero zero. and let's say i wanted an answer as a 6 or well, this is basically 12 right so can i do this mm, you might think that you will be able to do it as you will add a single bit over here but that's not possible because as you will start adding 4 so you will get 4 and 5 and 6 right and 7 and 8 now let's see the 4 is 100 zero zero, 5 is 101 then you will have 110 then 7 is triple 1 up till till now we will already have 4 right so that there is no uh, problem with that like this bit, bit has all 1s right now but as soon as we add a 8 to it so 8 is 1 triple 0 right so now we have a 0 over here our, our bit at this particular location or at the let's say 0, 0 1 and 2 like at the second location becomes 0 but in our answer we needed 1 1 0 so the bit we required at the second location was 1 so this becomes invalid so this leaves with, uh, us with an important point that if we have a uh, op, uh, if we have a scenario where both ni and xi are set as 1 in that case we cannot perform any operation right so let's say uh, ni and xi are both set as 1 right in that case i cannot op uh, perform any operation that increases the value of ni such that ni becomes zero right now when would this happen so for our exam for example in our case we were having a number 4 this only got invalidated when we increased it to 1 triple 0 right or we can say in other words increased it from triple 1 because triple 1 was the maximum value you can have so this is observation one, number one and this is really important or we can say that uh, this actually was the observation number one when we were printing minus one and this was the observation number two wherein we were not caring when we have both zeros and you can say this is the observation number three right uh, the, and the observation i would uh, like say it again so the observation is that if you are having any any bit that is set in both then you cannot perform any operation in which like all the bits to its right is set to 1 that that's still valid but you cannot perform any operation that increases the number by more than this right so over here if we set all the bits to its uh, to 4 to 1 so we'll get a number 7 right so up till 7 we could have increased and that's uh, that's valid because even if you like and 4 5 6 7 so they are basically 1 0 0 1 0 1 one one zero and triple one right till this time this observe uh, this fact would hold because in till this time you will be only having one over here so a final answer would also have one in the second second bits position but as soon as you add eight so eight is a number which is greater than all the bits set to its uh, left uh, to its right right uh, right I'm, i hope like you're able to understand this right so as soon as this happens this bit would turn turn zero so our first observation is that if n and x are both z are both ones then your max m is limited to setting okay so let's give it a uh, like a bit index let's call it bit index i right so is limited to setting all bits from index i plus 1 to n right so i'm counting in this way two ones right so we can't proceed uh, like use more than that so now we are left with us uh, with us uh, like uh, with, with a single case wherein 
you have ni equal to 0 oh sorry ni equal to 1 and xi is equal to 0 right so what can we do in this case so in this case we can say that i'll have to make ni as 0 right so when can i make ni as 0 so i'll have to add it with some number so i'm adding it like this right n plus 2 up to so on till m so i'll have to add it with some number such that its bec bit becomes uh, it bit its bit becomes zero so when the first number that would occur that's greater than this that would have a zero bit so let's try that out so in case of 4 the num in case of 4 the number that was helping it was 1 triple 0 right now what would be the number in case of 5 even in case of 5 the number would be 8 itself so we just have to make this particular bit as zero right so what we can say is that the number that could help us with this would be a number that has the i plus oneth bit set and all the bits to its right as zero right so that is our four, fourth observation that's it so that's what we require to solve the question Although when you are solving this question, you can actually implement it exactly like this or you could or you could use some bits trick to actually speed over here. What I will be doing is that, okay, so yeah, this is my solution. So what I will do is, firstly, I will go from i is equal to 0 till the, uh, till the time i is less than 64. And these are the minimum and maximum numbers. So these numbers basically represent, so when I was t telling you about that this is the minimum number up uh, from like you can't go above this or you can't below this particular number so these are the particular variables i have set for these also since the uh, like the number goes up till 10 to power 18 so we are taking for 64 bits i hope that makes sense then the bit at the ith location would be having a value uh, like i can shift one i times right like if you are unable to understand this basic stuff uh, then definitely let me know i'll have to make a maybe a detailed video on bit manipulation and stuff i'll be able to make you understand but since since this question requires uh, more than just bit uh, basic bit, bit manipulation so i was not going into much detail after that we'll check the basic uh, like the first uh, case we tried so x bit is set to 1 and n bit is set to 0 you are not uh, there's no way you can solve this right so you can simply return a minus 1. Now the next case is both the bits are set as 1 1. So in this case we said that uh, we cannot uh, like we cannot use an element. So in case of uh, I, we, I gave you example of 4 right. So in case of 4 you cannot exceed 7. So basically what I am doing is that for the current number I am making all the bits to its uh, right as 1. So that is exactly what I am doing over here. So firstly, I'm shifting it by i, I units to the, uh, to the right, and then I'm shifting it back to the uh, to the left. So what would happen by this is that all the bits would uh, now set be set to zero, right? Then I'm subtract uh, like adding bit minus one. So by use, doing this, I'll be uh, making all the bits to the right as one. So that's exactly performing this operation which I wanted. Now comes the other case, wherein you have uh, your n bit set as one and the x bit set as 0 so what in this case so in this case we discussed that i want want to have an element so that particular element should be able to like make this bit as 0 so that would only happen in a case when the next bit as, is set as 0 so the bit at i plus 1 location would be set uh, set to 1 and all the bits including the ith bit would be set to 0 right so that's what i'm doing over here so i'll be writing my minimum element as so I'm firstly like shifting it to the uh, to the right by i locations and then shifting it back to the uh, left by i locations. So the, what it would do is that it would make all the elements to its right as zeros, and after that I'm ad adding bits. So because uh, as you might know that uh, two power of two comma n plus power of two comma n is basically equal to power of uh, two comma n plus one, right? So this is exactly what's happening. So as soon as it's power of two n plus one, uh, that a particular bit itself would uh, would be made zero, and the next bit would become one, right? Also, because I'm doing this, all the uh, like 
for because of this particular operation all the bits to the right of it have, have already been uh, made uh, zeros cool i think while like while i uh, while explaining uh, so yeah I, like i used left and right interchangeably but uh, if you got the logic then it's is e easier to understand i hope i made sense with that so once i'm d done with this particular look uh, logic then i'll just check that if my max element is less than the min element then there's no possible way so let's say i i was saying that my maximum element could be could be 8 and and my minimum element is 6 so is there any value that is between 8 to 6 right so there's no value so a value that is greater than 8 and less than 6 so that doesn't exist in that case i can simply return minus 1 if that's not the case then i since i wanted to return the minimum value so i'll return the minimum value now let's copy paste this code and try it out if you guys still have any doubts regarding this question you can definitely let me know but i try to give you the best explanation possible yeah cool so this code works uh this was a simple code i'll say like not uh, like not a lot of logic being used but yeah these were simple tricks that can be used if you want don't want to use these tricks you can actually use a for loop and do, uh, do all the so, uh, all these sort of comp uh, like computations but in a in a contest it's always easier to use such tricks so as to save time and space as well cool yeah so that's it about this video if, I ha if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to answer them yeah cool thanks a lot guys